In Kosovo, police are investigating the killing of a member of ULEX, the European Union's rule of law mission. ULEX said two vehicles carrying six of its personnel came under fire while on a routine mission near the mainly Serb town of Mitrovica. The mission condemned the killing as an act of cowardly violence. In Russia, about 300 students and their parents broke into a local government building in Moscow in protest against the sudden closure of a local school the day before. Students were forced to leave their classrooms during lessons after the authorities claimed the school building was unsafe. Parents are questioning the authorities' decision to shut down the school shortly after the start of the school year. In the Kazakh capital, Astana, experts are meeting to discuss policy on preventing violence against girls and women. The UN-sponsored conference is addressing the persistent problems of forced and underage marriage in Central Asia and the Caucasus and is expected to adopt a regional action plan on protecting young women's rights. In Tbilisi, Georgia, Vaktang Kolbaya, the acting head of the Abkhaz government in exile, presented a new cabinet. The Abkhaz government in exile is working with the central government to return the separatist region to Georgia. This will be Abkhazia's sixth government in exile since the 2008 Russia-Georgia war. In Ukraine, protesters gathered outside the parliament building to demand elections in Kiev. Members of the group the Guy Fox movement staged a masked protest against a court's decision to postpone elections to the Kiev city council until 2015. In Tajikistan, the Global Environmental Fund and the United Nations Development Program presented a plan to modernize the country's public transportation system and reduce gas emissions. Passengers consider public transport inefficient as buses and trolleybuses don't run according to a specific schedule and have an outdated ticketing system. Kyrgyzstan's capital, Bishkek, is hosting an international film festival of human rights documentaries. The One World Kyrgyzstan Festival will feature 34 documentaries from a broad range of countries. It is the seventh time the festival has brought together filmmakers, journalists, artists, and human rights defenders in Kyrgyzstan. And that's the news roundup from Radio Free Europe, Radio Liberty.